Hello, welcome to another video. I'm out with Dimbus, who's just chewing a stick. It's been blowing a gale and we've had storms, so I've come into this beach woodland just to get a bit of respite and do a bit of foraging and just relax, mate. After the hustle and bustle of the festive period, it's nice just to get, get out in sticks, just me and Mutt, and have a relax. Here he is, main event. What is it? I don't have out for you, bro. We're gonna have a throwback to earlier this year. Come on, let's make a move, shall we? Hey, eh? sure. Let's walk and talk. Come on, Julio von Dimbleton. Yeah, gone rough bag. Me nan sadly passed away and she left me some money to go on holiday. RIP. And so me and Fern headed off to Greece because for a while now, you know, you get them little silly things that you like, I have to do that. And for a while, for a good few years, I've wanted to find a turtle in the wild and dive and swim with a turtle in the wild. And I've had a few experiences where it just didn't happen. So there's an island in Greece and there's a lot of turtles around there. Apparently they are endangered, the loggerhead turtles. So we headed off in search of finding a turtle. I did make a video of it for Patreon, but I thought as it's a bit gnarly weather and stuff, I thought I might just share it with you lot. Look, <laughs> there's no bushcraft, there's no camping, there's no hiking. Uh, it's just me and Fern looking for a turtle. So if that ain't your thing, mate, just maybe check out the back catalog or wait. I've got a few hiking and camping videos coming up. For now, if you want to see us go search for a turtle, stay tuned. <laughs> I'll take you to a, a few months back to Greece. We're here in Catalonia. Cephalonia and we've come away for I think it's 10 days or something 10 days maybe uh, shout out my nanny June um, who left me this in a will she left me the money to go to Greece she said get yourself a little holiday and so this is that little holiday and we rented a boat Ben's driving for now we're just taking it in turns we're going up this coast then we're going to meander back down so the wind's at our back and fingers crossed we're going to get a turtle if not bring you some underwater footage and whatever adventures we can come up with. I think there's some ruins up there. Who knows? The guy at the boat thing gives you a cool box. So he's bring you a nice, he's just got a couple of beers, some water. When I was young, my daddy said, gotta keep one eye open in your bed. Cause there's a time coming when the devil gonna come for you. So my trigger fingers stay prepared. I've got my Ah, he's too deep. I can't stay down long enough with him. Ah. <laughs> Woo. Amazing. Oh, he's just so deep. Uh, right. <laughs> the beach where 30. Oh, where we are is right over there. I've been sidetracked. I've seen that turtle, but it was so far down. By the time I got to it, and like, my breath hold was coming to an end. So I got carried away and come even further thinking, oh, where there's one, there must be more. I've not found any. So now I find myself quite far away from the bit where we are. <laughs> Woo! I'm going to have to just focus, breathe well, and uh, start making my way back to the shore. I'll be having a burnt back.
after my feeble attempt at swimming with a turtle which was too deep we've uh, done a bit of research and we've come here because people said all oh, the turtles come and they feed off the boats that the, the fishing boats when the you know like all the bycatches getting thrown over, overboard they eat that and lo and behold they were there regarde <laughs> which was amazing and they looked amazing big loggerhead turtles they were huge but it's not what we want we want to see them in a natural wild environment so we've walked up from the town up to this beautiful looking it's calling it they're calling it a lagoon apparently this is where the turtles come after they've eaten so we're gonna go up here try and find somewhere to get in and hopefully once and for all bring you some footage of diving with a turtle and it's going to be a massive anti-climax for anyone watching because i've probably got better footage just dangling off that pier of the turtle than i ever will swimming wild but that's not the point that's not why you're here and there's fern hello, that, hello. how are you <laughs> how are you nice to see you today what you've been up to what did you have for your tea and did you watch anything good on telly <laughs> right come on let's go get an iced quaffy spoke to the guy at the coffee place and he says that you are you you can see turtles appear but you'd be lucky to see one from the shore swimming past this close to the side so we're gonna go either rent a peddler or like something with a hairdryer on back of it to put us around this lagoon and then when we see one we'll dive in and hopefully not get um, a chunk bitten out of my grill <laughs> You're really scared about getting bitten by a turtle. Really scared about getting bitten by a turtle. Fern assures me that there's been no recorded turtle attacks on humans. Like there's none in recorded history, but before the first person got bit by a shark, there was no recorded shark attacks, was there? But yeah, but that's when was that? Oh, I'm just giving off bite me vibes today. I think that's yeah. all. It's because of the wasp. It is because of the wasp though. <laughs> Look, I told you not to talk about the wasp, not in front of the lads. Um, what wasp? Uh, you ready? Yeah, filming. Filming. Right, here we are. Mm, oh. Get yourself in the sun if you can. Oh. Oh. In the sun? Oh, no, it's just that your legs are Shit legs. bright. Shit legs, yeah? Your legs are bright and you're dark. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. Then I'm ready. <laughs> Regarde my battery powered <laughs> boat. Try not to laugh too hard into the microphone, Fern. <laughs> it's very, very loud. Uh, we're here on my battery powered toy boat and we're looking for turtles, and we should, and I should be looking. Fern should be kneeling at the front, giving it that. One of us should be driving. This is our best chance at seeing turtles, I think. What does she think? Me? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think we could see them. Obviously, we don't have any dead fish with us, so we're going to have to just catch one on the off chance that it's sort of floating about. Yeah, and I've got to get my underpants on, my swimmer's pants. I wonder if we're even allowed to get in it. Yeah, I did think, should we ask, like, if we're allowed in it, because obviously it's quite a lot of sea, sea grass. Which ah, we'll is, get in it, we'll be all right. Yeah, and it's only a metre deep, and the boatman who rented us the boat said that we had a 50-50 chance of seeing them because it's the end of the season. Yeah, and that, if you were a betting man, as if you know, you know, that's good odds. 50-50 is very good odds. Right. I'm gonna get my let's I'm gonna get lathered up and put my budgies on. I'm poised, ready for action, snorkel and mask on, budgies. I'm not going with the flippers because I might come a cropper as I jump in. And if there's one thing I've learned about turtle hunting is you need to look good doing it. Don't want me flopping over there and getting bit in the face. A great way to spend 40 minutes pooting around on this river with my fernie. Even if we don't see a turtle, it's still nice. Psych, it's shit. Wanna see a turtle? <laughs> if I was a turtle, I wouldn't be hanging out here. Why? I just feel like it's too shallow. Like, I'd want some variety. 
I'd want to be able to swim down deep if I wanted to. I think that they probably loved it where the fishermen were just giving them free fish, but over here it's like, it's the salad bar. We're in the salad bar. They were at the meat counter and we're hanging out in bar, which is not Lettuce good. Corner. <laughs> All cameras are on because I have seen a turtle. No. Le there he is again. Where? Here, just here. I'm going to turn the engine off. Turn it off. It's off. There. Where? I don't know. Where? I don't know. I thought I saw a turtle and Paul thinks it was a fish jumping out of the water, which it oh. could... You're not so confident now. Well, I'm just not sure. After seeing that fish jump. I did just see a fish jump out. And if I'd have just caught it out, saw it out the corner of my eye, I may have thought that it was a turtle. The other issue we've got is that this boat is, is not designed to get to let you out. Paul has got full flippers. I'm breaking all my own rules. <laughs> full flipper get up. And he's gonna, I think, capsize the boat. If he just launches himself off the side, which he definitely will if he sees a turtle, we're over. We're in we're in Salad Bay. Don't just jump off with no warning. You need to be like, I'm leaver it, my weight this is. is what I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know you will. Keep us on a true course, my absolute Captain Bird's eye loving nautical scrumptious limpet of a thing. Will do. Not very good documentary makers, I'm afraid. I like to play it, but the reality is a cack at it. Got some oil in my eyes. Dejected. At the back of this cave, there's a hole. And it looks, there's light coming through it, so it looks like it goes through this, through here, out onto the other side into the sea. Come on, let's go check it out. Tentatively. There's a lot of sea urchins and shit. That was cool, where am I? This is the penultimate day of our time here in Greece. And yesterday, so, oh God. What's, are you okay? Are you, you're crying, you're shivering. Two or three days ago, we were walking down here from the shop and out of nowhere, <laughs> Just an absolute kamikaze wasp mm. went and stung me in the face, didn't it? Um, well, the wasp came over, you started swatting it away frantically. No. And, no, come on, you've, right. told your, you've told your story, the incorrect Hear my side of the story of this week in the sun. <laughs> now the real story, guys, in the Daily Mirror, yeah. says Paul frantically swats at a wasp. The wasp is not deterred. The wasp then goes stinger first into just above Paul's eyebrow. Paul <laughs> clutches his face. I'm laughing because it's funny now, but it was actually quite terrifying at the time. Paul clutches his face, starts running away, and then I was like, what do I do? And he shouted, run! So I ran in <laughs> the opposite. Did. Yes, you did. So I ran in the opposite direction. The wasp followed me, then I was swatting it away. It just kind of disappeared at that point. So I ran back to Paul, who was at this point, crumpled onto the floor, both knees on the ground, I took, clutching one, one knee, I took a knee. Took, uh, uh, guys, uh, guys, I took a knee. Both I had to knees, take one knee, just touching his head and at one point even <laughs> shouted, Why? <laughs> and that is the truth. <laughs> yeah, why? Why did it just attack me out of nowhere? So yeah, it was about a nine or eight or nine out of bordering on a ten, throbbing through my face. And I, and then Fern, and thanks for this, took the stinger out 
And why is a wasp leaving its stinger in my face? That's just not wasp behavior. I think it was some mad hybrid thing. Chemic, like weaponized wasp it was. And then Fern picked out the stinger and then <laughs> sucked out the poison and spat it out like a proper, like a true mummy. <laughs> like that. There you go, you're all right, aren't you? Like spat on a tissue, wiped it on me. There you go, get yourself off to school, you little stupid idiot. Thanks for that. Although the story did make me sound like a bit of a wet lettuce, even though I don't think it was true. It I was... didn't run off and say, run, why? <laughs> I didn't you shout, did. why, God, you why? You shouted, why? Why, God? You shouted, why, or oh, please? It was one <laughs> of the two. Please, please, <laughs> kill <It> me! Was... <laughs> <laughs> it was actually bordering on traumatic. Like immediately afterwards, I felt a bit shaken up because you had gone to extreme. Well, anyway, there was it was near them bins, and that just triggered me. We've tried desperately to find a turtle, and we went out. I uh, hired this little electric battery-powered thing. Couldn't find any. Found one in the harbour, but it wasn't the same. They were all just eating fish that was chucked out of a fish market and stuff. And then yesterday, we found a little cove and we went out. We seen two octopus, oh, octopi. And then as we were swimming, Fern was like, doing the universal <laughs> sign for turtle, which you think is like that. I was trying fall. But last time I did it, I did it while my face was still under the water and then I sucked in a whole snort full of Yeah, water. she nearly drowned last time. So we're near a road. I went over to Fern to see what it was and lo and behold a huge loggerhead turtle Terry. and i'll leave you with that the footage isn't the best but it's been about four years in the making of me trying to find this turtle and i finally finally found it so. and it was a nice it wasn't in a grubby it wasn't in a grubby side. dock it was in its natural environment the footage isn't the greatest when we look back but it was truly swimming with a turtle it felt amazing. It felt real and it felt amazing. Huge loggerhead thing. Thanks for joining us in Greece. Sorry we didn't do any hiking. It was too hot, wasn't it? Too hot. I really didn't want to go hiking. That was my fault, guys. You can blame me for that That's Ben's fault. It was too hot, sir. <laughs> the turtle story. We've done it. Do I have to get a turtle tattoo now? Do you? I get a turtle bracelet or something. Oh, that's much nicer. That's much nicer. <laughs> right, thanks for watching. Take care. Regarde El Turtle. Coming away soon. So let's lay under the falling moon. Turtles are looters, but we've double dropped some octopus. And we're off out. Let's go. Talk to no one else. Say goodbye to lonely nights of last summer. And there it is, mate. An unbelievable experience. The the water clarity when we found him wasn't great, but the experience was top tier. It was one of the greatest moments of my life because I'd put so much emphasis on finding it. And then when I did, it was just like, hallelujah. And what an amazing creature, just so chilled out, sort of all knowing. And I would have loved it if he'd have just smiled, like turned around and smiled at me with them like, um, chicken run sort of teeth. Right, Dimbo, come say bye. <laughs> Which tree should we sit under next? This one looks good. You always look for a little bit of a an armchair vibe. 
Oh. <laughs> These are my best days, man. Whoa. Just out in woods with dog. And as the rain starts to fall, come here, boy. We're going to stay out there. I don't mind getting a bit wet. It's nice. Say bye. Imagine if you just in a real posh voice was like, goodbye, like that. Goodbye, and he just talked, and then everything went mental. Oh, an owl! Oh, that is beauty. I know, what is it? It's a buzzard. Ah, oh, there's no zoom on this, so you won't be able to see it. Buzzard flying effortlessly through the trees. Right, thanks for joining me this year. It's been a blinder. And we'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> Au revoir. Nimbus, come. Paw. You can hour on the devil, but you ain't gonna hour on me.